Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you this purple blue graphic eyeliner makeup look. I don't really know how to call this eye look, but I posted it on my Instagram yesterday and you really seem to like it. So I'm gonna start with this product, which is from Hindash Cosmetics. I received it in the mail the same day as I filmed this look. And you can use it like to cut the crease, but you can also use it as an eyeshadow base. So I wanted to try it for today's video. Also, I used some eye tapes. I'm not sure if you can see the tape like right sticking underneath my hair, but these are basically tapes that you apply and you connect them on both eyes with like a little elast elastic. I'm not sure how you call it in English, but it will lift your eyebrows as if you're using like tape. I don't know how to explain it, but it basically lifts my eyes and this way my eyelid looks a little bit different. So I wanted to try it for a long time because I've seen a lot of people on Instagram doing this. So just so you know, I'm wearing the tapes. So I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow palette um, that I created together with Sigma Beauty. It's the Anne Nuke Pro Eyeshadow Palette. I have it linked down in the description bar in case you want to get it. I posted a lot of videos using it. I also made a playlist so you can find all the videos I made using my palette. So I started with the color 1992 with a small kind of like angled eyeliner brush and I just created the line that I wanted to have in my crease. First I just used a really light hand to kind of like make the line of where I want it to be. Not really focused on making it like very pigmented yet. I first just wanted to make sure that the lines were equal on both sides and then after this I wanted to focus like on making it darker. So I did make my brush a little bit wet using a setting spray. So the eyeshine, the eyeshadow, <laughs> the eyeshadow looks more intense. So I just really took my time with this because I didn't want it to mess it up. Um, so I just continued to go in with more and more. Then I went in with the color Knovos and I used this all over the eyelid. First I used this brush, which is actually a eye cream brush from Sigma but I noticed I had quite a lot of fallout using this brush so for my other eye I switched to a 242 brush from MAC which is not available anymore as far as I know they do have the 242S but it's just not the same this is such a nice brush and I wish back in the days I purchased more of them because it's just amazing but yeah, I use this and just to apply that purple color all over the eyelid and going directly un underneath that line. And then I use that same color 1992, which I used to create the line in my crease. And I'm going to use this for my eyeliner. So again, I used a little bit of setting spray to make the eyeshadow a bit more darker and intenser. And I started with a line above the lash line. And then after this, I'm going to create the wing liner. I'm not going to connect it with the line that I created in my crease. I'm just keeping it a bit lower so you can still see that purple shade like kind of in between. Um, and I just went for a wing liner and I just went back in with this eyeshadow a few times to make it as pigmented as possible. It is a matte eyeshadow, so you have to go back in a few times to make it as dark as possible. Um, but at the end, it will look really good as if you use the eyeliner, but you use an eyeshadow. And I love how these two shades look together because the color 1992, you can either use it with blue eyeshadows, but also with purple eyeshadow. It's kind of like an in-between kind of color that looks beautiful on both colors. So I just continued my eyeliner. Um, it actually took me quite some time because I'm always such slow when it comes to makeup. I feel like other people are so much quicker, but I just really take my time, which is sometimes very annoying. But then I went in with some concealer and a concealer brush and I applied this underneath the wing liner and I dragged it upwards just to make the whole line look more clean and crisp. So this is how it's currently looking. I'm loving it so far. Then now I applied my concealer. Um, I didn't apply my foundation yet. I just did concealer and then I decided to finish off the whole eyes. I used the color Lana for underneath the lower lash line. Used a flat definer brush from Sigma and just applied this all the way underneath the lower lash line. And actually in the background, I hope you can't hear the washing machine because I'm actually doing laundry today and I hope it doesn't make a lot of noise. 
um, but yeah, I can't help it. I have to do it today. <laughs> so I just continued to apply more of the color Lana. And then after applying it, I went back in with the color 1992 and just applied a little bit of that underneath like the corner to connect the wing liner with the lower lash line. So kind of like smudging my brush back and forth. I just really like how it kind of melts everything together. And then I went back in with a Sigma pencil brush, added a little bit more of the color Lana, and I just blended out this color even further. So I just blend, blend, blend until I'm happy with how everything is looking. And then after this, I'm gonna go in with some white eyeshadow. And I also wasn't sure if I wanted to do like a blue pencil in the what line, but eventually I'm actually going for like a white pencil. But first I used this white color, which is called Cottage, and applied a little bit of that in the inner corner just to brighten up a little bit, and also dragging it a little bit underneath the brow. Then I went in with this cream gel liner from Colourpop. I'm not sure what the name is, but it's just a white pencil. So I applied it all the way in my wad line. I often feel like white looks super heavy, intense. But I actually am happy that I went for white because it really brightened up my eyes. So then I went in with my lash curler and I went in with these Ardell lashes, which are called the Naked Lashes. They're super pretty, natural looking, just nice wispy style. I did go in with a little bit of mascara because my own natural lashes aren't as dark as the fake lashes. So you definitely want to go in with some mascara because it just makes your own natural lashes fade into the fake lashes more. It just kind of blends more seamlessly together. So applying these lashes in the center part of the eyelid and then sticking both sides on the eyelid. And then here you have the finished results. I also posted some pictures on my Instagram. I also posted a Reels where I show the whole makeup look, um, which I'm gonna post on my YouTube channel as well. But you can also follow me on Instagram, of course. Now, I hope you like the end result. Let me know what you want to see next. And hopefully, I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to the